Hello, I'm Slider, as usual, joined by Manga. Yeah. And on this edition of, uh, every NES game, we have Alpha Mission. Which can't spell shield. No. Agents of Misspelling. <laughs> this is, a uh, shoot 'em up. You have power ups like a shoot 'em up, and you shoot things. <laughs> So it's your standard shoot 'em up in space. I will say, you know, normally the fact that Frabs does it with display 60 FPS isn't a the biggest deal, even though it affects NES games. Uh, but in this case, it really makes it look like half of the bullets don't exist, which is weird. That is a little odd. So it just looks like this, these ships are exploding for no reason. Was, yeah. They just kind of pop out of existence, magically. Your space dude has superpowers. Yes, it does. I would say there's only a few interesting things about this game. Like, it's mostly just a very, very standard shoot 'em up. Very little to talk about. That they can get to one of the weird things about it, though. That's one of them. So, we got an R power-up, which I assume stands for reverse. And we just ended up going backwards in the stays. <laughs> like, seriously, we went backwards in the stage. Why? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what the point and purpose of that is. No. Is it to get, like, more points by killing more stuff? I guess. That's, that's the most I can figure. Either that or it's just there to trick you into making the game last longer. Alright, now I'm just staring at the flying fish skeleton. So, uh, one of the other actually interesting things about this is that we have two weapons. Our normal weapon just shoots the ships, but the other one shoots uh, gunships and other things that are on the ground. Which is where most of the power-ups we get are in these little containers. You have to use our secondary weapon to do that, too. In theory, this could be interesting, but it's just... Oh, we have another thing to do. And there's one last thing. Well, first of all, I have no idea why there's a backwards E. All those are for points, so I'm not sure what the point of it is. I'm not sure what the point of all the different letters is. I do. So there's an... Literally an S, M, M, and an L. Small, medium, and large? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but my assumption, uh, based on a very logical assumption, is that... Uh, because I've seen what these do. Uh, S is for speed, so improves your speed. Uh, M improves your missiles, which are the ones that shoot on the ground. And L is for laser, for your main weapon. So what's E for? I don't know, I guess energy, but like... And I've seen this in other games, the E is just points. <laughs> Not again. Uh, oh, an R for joining Team Rocket, or, you know, reversing the stage, apparently. Yeah. I like how reversing the stage is just make everything go back and black. Just make the screen black. Go back to black. So yeah, I just end up dying a lot, which is not surprising at this point. This is one of those things where I have no idea if this game is uh, genuinely that hard or if I just really sucked at this. <laughs> not your genre. Uh, I don't know. There's some shooting ups I'm okay with. Normally I would try to, like, read some other part of the game, but I've looked in research, like, there's really not much interesting going on here. I entirely missed if there's even a plot going on here if you're just in space and shooting things in space because you're in space. Does it really matter? I would say it worked for asteroids. I 
Like, there's just nothing. You just shoot, and that, that's it. In space! Because, you know, this is a, it's a fact that everything is cooler in space. Everybody knows this. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to judge the game's levels because we're still just on this first one. Is there variety or is it just steadily harder versions of this forever? I did skim some footage of people re who recorded this. Someone did, because why not? Uh, this game is... there's just nothing to it. This is the game. And there it ends. Yep. It's... It's a video game, it's... It is a game that exists and you can play it. <sighs> Not a lot to say about that one, is there? No. We can't keep doing games that begin with the letter A someday. Someday we'll get to games that begin with the letter B, which will include games worth playing at times. That'll be nice. So the legends say of games beginning with B 